please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. What it does do if you get the throttle adjustment wrong is stick the throttle. So where we're at now, the throttle's not coming back. As the clutch maintenance is done and the gap is set correctly, now we're gonna move to the throttle. So free play in a throttle, if you've got a lot of it, that can make your acceleration very snatchy and the, and the throttle suddenly come on and it takes away a lot of smoothness in getting the gas to the fuel injection system or carburetor so you can drive away smoothly. So we want to see how much free play we've got. So if we put our screwdriver there and hold it still, that's at the stop and then we're going to screw it backwards. There's the free play. It's that much. So with this bike, when you change gear, you have to take up all that free play before you actually get to the throttle and then you can apply fuel. So we need to adjust this up because there's far too much free play. Most of the time on adjusting a throttle cable these days, you'll find a little rubber tube like this and there's two pieces to it. So we're gonna go ahead and peel back the upper section and then peel away the lower section. And what it gives us, when I can get this back, there it is, is a lock nut and an adjusting nut. So, what we've got here is to loosen this, then this turns one way or the other way to adjust where we are. Now if you look carefully, that's a solid cylinder there and there's almost one thread showing before the nut. So in terms of adjustment on this cable, it's not been done before and we're barely starting the first adjustment. So we have plenty of room to do it here rather than have to lift the tank, go into the throttle bodies and do the adjustment at the far end like we did on the clutch. So fortunately, with this being a bike with really low miles on it, it's never been adjusted before, which is great. So let's get the tools so we can start the adjustment. Now adjustment on the throttle is personal preference. If you want barely any play, that's fine because as soon as you turn the throttle on you get to it. If you want a little bit of play and free, you can tune it here exactly how you want it. You can go too far and have zero play left in the throttle whatsoever and that's a big problem and you can test it and we'll show you how to do that shortly. For now though, we are going to loosen the lock nut, so an eight millimeter on the long one, and a 10 on the nut. Let's get the cable separated so I can get in there. Come on. It's not a 10. Really? It's a first. Oh, it is a 10. Okay. So now our cylinder here is free. We can let go of the lock nut. If we turn the cylinder forwards towards the front wheel, we're going to take away the free play in the cable. So let's go. There's one and a half turns. Now what have we got here? We've got a tiny bit left. So let's go one, two, three faces. So that's now two turns and that's lock solid. It's going nowhere. Now the danger of it being lock solid is when you start the engine, if you turn the bars to the left or the right, then it will bring the RPM up because the tension in the cable is too high. So whenever you do these adjustments, you must always start the bike go bar to bar and make sure the RPMs do not increase, shut it down, finish the job here, and then you know you're safe. So at this point, with the adjustment where we have zero free play, let's see if when we go side to side with the bar, if the RPMs climb. Now on the Triumph, compared to older bikes, if you've got the throttle too tight and you went lock to lock, the RPMs will climb. What it does do if you get the throttle adjustment wrong is stick the throttle. 
So where we're at now, the throttle's not coming back. So that adjustment is too tight. So that's one turn back. Throttle returns perfectly. One turn too far. RPMs are higher, they don't shut all the way down. And we gotta turn the throttle back. So we know that that is as far as we can go. And our throttle returns perfectly and we're not stressing the cable side to side. So now that adjustment's good, we can bring the lock nut down. Then we can snug that to the current position of the cylinder. And we know that when we ride, the throttle's not gonna stick. So now we put, we put everything back together. Now we're ready to go ride, double check. Make sure you're gonna be safe. And that's not gonna be a problem to go ride because the throttle does not stick at full locks either side. And the last thing you want to get is caught out in a U-turn because that is, and I've done that, it's no fun at all.